What's up everyone and welcome back to the comps channel. I know it's been a while since I uploaded a video but I'm back from storm chasing and I've been working on a few projects. One of those projects is the subject of today's video which is this BBS for MeshTastic that allows for posting and viewing bulletins, sending and receiving mail messages to MeshTastic nodes and much more. So I hope that you'll join me as we take a look at my latest project. We're approaching a restricted area. Restricted area is one mile west. Before we get into it, I just want to give a quick shout out to the channel's recent supporters. Your support is very much appreciated, and if you're finding these videos useful and would like to support the channel as well, you can do so by using the coffee link in the video description or by using the thanks button below the video. Thank you for your support and helping with the channel's continued production. This video is just going to be an overview of the BBS and how to use it. The code for it is up on GitHub with instructions for those of you familiar with using Python and code off of GitHub, but don't worry though if you're not. I do plan on doing a video walkthrough on the installation and setup for those of you who aren't familiar and everything you need to get started. I'll also be doing a new PoE build that'll incorporate a Raspberry Pi so you can set up your own node to host the BBS. But don't worry if you've already done the previous PoE build, this will use a lot of the same parts. So all you'll need to do is add a few things to your current build. I'm also working on a completely new solar build that'll have the option of adding a Raspberry Pi to it so your solar nodes can host a BBS as well. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on these upcoming projects. Now on to the BBS. BBS. The BBS is Python based and will run on a computer like a Raspberry Pi or any computer you have that has Python installed on it. On the server side, you'll have your MeshTastic device connected to the computer and the server script will run and output current interactions with the BBS to the console. On the client side, you'll use the MeshTastic app to send commands to the BBS. You interact with the BBS by sending a direct message to the node that's connected to the computer running the BBS script. It'll respond with the main menu to any messages that it receives that isn't a command that it understands. Looking at the menu here, we have the different options. You simply send a message with whatever letter that's in brackets for the option that you want. Let's start out with the mail menu and we select that by sending a message with the letter M. That'll bring us to the main menu here where you have numbered options to either read, send, or exit. You simply send a message with the number of the option that you want. Let's check for any messages by sending a zero for read. As you can see here, we have no messages right now, so let's try sending a message. Now, I still have some work to do on the menu structure on some of these. Ideally, we would have been taken back to the mail menu after that last command for reading messages. But for now, though, let's get back to the mail menu by sending M again. Here we're back at the mail menu, so we'll send 1 for send. So it's first going to ask you for the short name of the node, which is the node name in the bubble when looking at a list of nodes. So let's send a message to the node named Joe. Then it's going to ask for the subject, so we'll just enter in a short subject here and send that along. Now we can go ahead and send the contents of our mail message. Now there's a limit on how long a message can be in MeshTastic, so if the contents of your mail message is too long to fit in one message, you can enter in the first part of the message until you reach the message length limit, and then go and send additional messages until you've completed entering in the contents of your mail message. Once we have the mail message contents sent, We'll send another message with the word end to let the BBS know that we're done. But before we do that though, I want to discuss another feature of TC2 BBS. There's a configuration file where you can list other systems running TC2 BBS and whenever you send a mail message, it'll sync and send the mail message to those other systems as well. Let's say Bob here wants to leave a mail message for Joe. Bob connects to BBS1, which is the closest BBS node to him, and posts his mail message there. 
Instead of Joe having to go through multiple hops to reach BBS1 where Bob left him a message, the systems are synced, so the other BBS nodes also received a copy of the mail message when Bob sent it. So Joe can just connect to BBS3, which is the closest BBS node to him, and then he can get the message directly from there. So let's see that in action. I have three BBS nodes on the screen here, and that's what we'll test with. BBS1, BBS2, and BBS3. And we'll be able to see the message get synced across the systems here. And just like in our example, I'm going to leave a message from Bob to Joe. Bob will be on an Android device, and Joe will be on an iPad. So we had our message for Joe typed up earlier, and now all we need to do to send this message is to send a message with end. And the mail message will get stored on the local BBS, and then the sync process will go and send it to the other BBS nodes. So we can see here the message is being received by BBS1, BBS2, and BBS3. Also, part of this mail sending process will also send a direct message to the recipient's node to notify them that they've received a mail message. Now Joe can just send the M command to the BBS3, which is the closest node to him. Then he'll send zero to read messages. Then he'll select the message to read by the number on the top of the message. Then it'll display the mail message and send a message asking if you would like to delete the message. Sending a message with Y for yes will delete it and N for no will keep it. Now messages that are deleted will also go through the sync process and delete the message from the other BBS nodes. So let's see what that looks like by sending Y. And now we can see that the message is being deleted across all of the other BBS nodes. So that was the mail menu. Let's take a look at the main menu and see what other options we have. Next option on the list is the bulletin menu. So let's have a look at that by sending a message with B. Here we have some various bulletin boards we can enter. General, Info, News, and Urgent. Let's take a look at the general board by sending zero. So here we're on the general board and we can view, post, or exit. So let's go ahead and post a bulletin by sending one. First, it'll ask for the subject of the bulletin, so let's go ahead and enter in something in and send that along. Then we're ready to send the contents of the bulletin, and we'll just enter in something for the bulletin contents and then send that along as well. And then we'll send a message with the word end, since that's the end of the bulletin contents. Just like the mail messages, bulletins are also synced up with the other BBS nodes, and we'll eventually get a message back saying that the bulletin has been posted. There will also be a message below asking what we'd like to do on the board, so Let's go ahead and send zero and view the bulletin we just posted. So we'll see a numbered list of bulletins. Uh, there's only one in this case, so we'll go and select that one to view it. And as we can see there, we are able to view the bulletin. Now let's go and get out of the general board by sending two for exit. So I can show you another bulletin feature. Now let's go ahead and enter in the urgent bulletin board by sending a message with three.
Now, posting and viewing things in the urgent board is the same as the others, but there's one difference when posting to the urgent board that I want to show you, so we'll go ahead and send a number one so we can post a bulletin. So just like before, we'll type in a short subject for our bulletin as usual and then send that along. Then we'll type in the contents of the bulletin, just as we did before, and then we'll send that along. Now that we've sent the contents of the bulletin, we'll send a message with the word end, and that'll post the bulletin. So what's different about posting to the urgent board is that along with the syncing of the bulletin, each BBS node will also send a notification to the default group chat, letting everyone know that an urgent bulletin has just been posted. So that's the bulletin menu. Let's go back to the main menu by sending H for help. Next let's have a look at Fortune by sending F. Now, Fortune is just a fun feature, and it'll send a random Fortune in a message. There's a text file named fortunes.txt with a list of them it goes off of, and you can feel free to add or remove from the file there. Next, let's have a look at the Wall of Shame by sending W. The Wall of Shame is another fun but useful feature where the users who have let their battery get below 20% end up here. A good way to quickly see who you need to reach out to and let them know that their battery is getting low. And now let's look at the final option, the channel directory, which we get to by sending C. Here we have options to view, post, or exit. What the channel directory is, is a way for people to post their channel URLs for others to connect to. So let's go through the process of posting one by sending a one to select post. First we need to send it a channel name for the directory. So let's say we have a mesh around Knox County or something and we'll name this one Knox and send that in a message. Next we need to provide the channel URL which you can grab from the channels tab on Android or the share QR code section in settings on Apple devices. So we'll go ahead and copy and paste that and then send it. So with that, that's been added to the channel directory. Now I've not set this up to sync with the other BBS nodes yet, and I'll work on adding that later. But for now, let's have a look at the entry we just posted to the channel directory by sending zero to view. Here we can see our entry we just posted, so let's go ahead and select that. Now we'll be sent the info for that listing and we can tap on the URL to change our settings to switch to that channel by hitting accept. So that just about covers everything on the Meshtastic version of TC2 BBS. If you have any suggestions or ideas you'd like to see implemented, be sure to leave a comment on the video below and be sure to have a look through the comments and give thumbs up to any suggestions you'd like to see. I'll look into implementing whichever comments get the most thumbs up. I'm also working on an APRS version of this as well, so stay tuned for that. That'll do it for this video going over TC2 BBS, and I hope you found it useful. If you did, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, so you don't miss out on any of the many upcoming projects we have planned. Thank you all, and have a good one. With the clouds swirling above us and the tornado producing storm slowly approaching, everyone started packing up and heading away. Alright, man, one, being took, stay on our ass, let's go!
I stayed a bit longer to see if it would produce a tornado again before doing the same. To the next hill. Technically, so. Copy. Uh, it's sort of pretty slow, so hopefully we'll be able to get a perfect view here and then uh, just have our escape options as needed. 10-4. Thank you. 